In this next section I want to show you how to use paths and how you can really uh, use layers to your benefit. So I did this uh, rendering of a hot rod, uh, sort of a, a, just a little design I came up with and what I want to do is show you uh, the original sketch that I worked with and um, how I've uh, used layers um, and uh, paths to build up the uh, rendering. So I'll just turn off all the layers that I have here, just click down and you can see the sketch uh, behind beginning to appear that I used and just how loose it is. The thing with layers is uh, you can get nice smooth curves going. Oh sorry, the thing with um, paths is you can really uh, develop some nice smooth curves and um, you can work over your original sketch uh, without having to worry about how neat the sketch was. So you can see um, how uh, just how rough the original sketch was and then um, you can see here I used um, I created paths which uh, from the paths I can then uh, create um, turn those into selections and render in each one so you can see there the body path uh, and then I turn that into um, a selection and then I could um, start rendering in that to uh, do the body so um, if, you, if I go back and start to turn on the layers, uh, working from the bottom up actually, so I did uh, all the background first, uh, the ground shadow, and then you can see the shadow for the wheels I uh, added in, but the outline is uh, very uh, rough and loose. And then um, you can see uh, I kept building up on top of that. You can see the, um, the red rings around the tires and then the rims uh, over the black then uh, that uh, black section for the side scoop and the chrome for the side scoop on top of that and then the holes and so forth and you can see um, those uh, shapes building up around that uh, the exhaust, the shadows going in the bonnet, uh, the interior and you'll see, um, uh, yeah, just go back you can see the seats uh, going in then over that is the side glass uh, and then uh, the roof building over the top of that then a, <clears throat> the outline of the windows side glass reflection you can see that goes over the top of everything really brings it into line and so forth so then the body comes in over the top of everything and you can see um, there's no actual outlines being going on it's really um, just the shapes are rendered in and so from that very rough sketch I've got this uh, quite finished and refined uh, rendering of this hot rod. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do paths first. <clears throat> so I'll get rid of that, I don't need to save anything. So I've done this um, hand sketch of a, uh, of a concept uh, that I came up with, sort of like a, uh, a 60s type uh, Grand Prix racer but um, or a Le Mans type racer but uh, with a little bit more uh, sort of modern edges on it and um, I'm just going to uh, create a path then render in a section. Th creating paths and doing it this way is a little bit more time consuming um, so I won't get to do the whole rendering but I'll just show you how to do sections uh, to get you started and then you can go away and practice.